All right, so this is some of my gear layout. Uh, some of it's mess, but <laughs> most of it's gear. Uh, let's see if I can, maybe that works better. All right, so yeah, I'm one of the crazy people that still carry an algae. I got some uh, olive oil, all my food. So I got a bunch of Cliff Bars, dehydrated, uh, dehydrated fruit, some dehydrated beans. I, I get this stuff from uh, Harmony House. It is awesome. Uh, but I, I, I like to spice it up with some nutritional yeast and some olive oil for the the extra healthy calories that I need as a vegetarian. I'm bringing two stoves. I'm bringing my alcohol stove, which is somewhere here. <laughs> it was a oh here it is. So I got my alcohol stove uh, with my cook set right there. I don't know why that's sitting in there. But I'm also bringing my jet boil. Uh, I got a friend coming, and I think it'd be a pain to, to cook with just the alcohol stove. So, especially being wet, I'm still trying to learn how to do it. <laughs> so, um, you know, learning experience for me, they don't need to learn. So, I'm just going to bring the jet bowl for them. So, uh, bringing my rain gear because it's supposed to rain all weekend. I got some extra pants, which I guess I'll put it with my pants stuff. I got my three liter all spray bladder which is awesome because i have i'll show this later but uh that's what i got the the sawyer mini in line with that um and then i got my tent my sleeping pad i got an extra tarp uh that i'm bringing right here and then this is my puffy um it's my lighter puffy it's, it's only it's gonna be like 50 <laughs> like literally just 50 all weekend so um some extra socks. Hopefully, I won't need those. I'll probably I'll leave an extra pair of clean and dry clothes in the truck. Um, but I do have a rain jacket and rain pants. I haven't really worn the pants that much. I don't usually wear them unless it's winter time, and it's cold enough now that I might actually do it. So I have a towel, like a camp towel, I'm gonna bring just for funsies. Um. I mean, because the person I'm coming with is, or going with is semi inexperienced, so I, I'm kind of bringing some extra gear just for them, for their sake, really. Uh, I don't want to scare them off. And then um, I got, I always bring a first aid kit, no matter where I'm at, what I'm doing, if I'm doing a day hike, riding the bike, or, or whatever, I always have at least a bare minimum uh, first aid kit. But I'm, uh, some new gear that I'm trying out is my, my, my Google Zero Nomad 10, pretty excited about it. I, though it's going to be raining all weekend, so I don't know if I'll actually use it. But I did use it to charge this up uh, earlier this week. And it was pretty awesome because uh, this is supposed to be able to charge your phone three times. But you can you, know, you can check the battery. It was at two bars the other day. And then I plugged it into this. Um, it's actually pretty neat. It's... So I thought it was pretty flimsy. I was like, man, what are they doing? But it actually plugs in to the back of this guy pretty easy and then snaps in. Boom, bada bing, bada boom, it's done. And then you can set it up however you need to set it up. Start, start catching rays. And then if you want to charge this while charging your phone, all you got to do is make sure you turn this port on before you plug it in. And then run your cord here and then plug your phone up and man, you're knocking out like eight stone on birds of one stone. So um pretty excited. Like I said, I doubt I'll be able to use it this weekend because it's gonna be raining. But I'm still gonna carry it just for for the weight. See how see how it carries, see how it is to put up with. Um you know, hopefully I don't destroy it with all the rain. So I always bring extra ibuprofen. And my allergy pills. It doesn't matter what time of year it is. You always got to have chapstick. So, um, hopefully, I'll run through some of this stuff while we're actually at camp. And uh, there's my my awesome pack. Don't don't look at any of that stuff. <laughs> that's, that's all my stuff from my other adventures that I haven't cleaned up yet. But uh, yeah, my pack is a hyperlight. I've been pretty pleased with it. I'm, gonna, I'm definitely testing out the waterproofness of it this weekend. So. I'll let you, uh, let you know how it goes. Um, 
So I also have my, my some Big Agnes Air Core, the Ultra Air Core insulated. Um, this one's your bigger one. It's a 25 by 72, uh, 25 inches, I guess, by 72 inches. So this is a little bit wider, and I like it. Uh, I have a 20 by 72, um, and my shoulders tend to hang off a little bit. But if I'm in a two-man tent uh, that's a little bit narrower, sometimes it's nice to have a 20 by 72, especially if somebody else has one similar. Those usually kind of fit the two-man tents a little bit better. But this one, like, fits in my one-man, like, wall-to-wall, -wall, like, just enough to put my shoes next to uh <laughs> like inside next between the pad and the and the wall so i, I kind of like it um this one this is my favorite one the, the, my other one like i said it's a little bit more compact uh and it's great for like summertime when I, especially if i'm in my single tent like it just gives me a little bit more room in it but oh uh, and it's a little bit less noisy <laughs> this one quite noisy can be noisy especially if you don't have it uh, especially if you move around a lot or you don't have it inflated all the way. I have my Marmot two-man tent here. I don't feel like I'm packing it yet. <laughs> or right now. I just got it packed up. So, uh, But it's in here. It's a two-man. Uh, you'll see it in the, in the actual camping video. Uh, so this is the Big Agnes uh, air pump, basically. Um, apparently this is like the ultralight version. I'm not sure. Uh I've only seen somebody with like the regular uh, air pump, but you plug this into this guy and start pumping it up. It's awesome. Uh, I love this thing. Uh, it 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 takes like I mean because it has a little like interior bladder that expand, expands out, so you like, like double the air volume. And you, if, especially if like on a windy day, you just like lift it, let the wind catch it. Boom, no, <laughs> no problem. Or you just kind of, you know, get your arm in there, and, oh, expand it. You don't really have to blow into it. But either way, if you do, even if you do like one little breath, it expands the whole thing. So, and then here's my marmot. Oh, it's a 30 degree bag. Um, I'm trying to get it. There we go. It's the Tressless Elite Echo 30. I, I love this thing. It's a synthetic, but. It's kept me warm in the cold, and, uh, you know, I've, I've probably camped in it somewhere between 20 degrees all the way up as hot as, like, 50. Uh, obviously, like, upper 30s, low 40s, probably, like, the best temperature for it. I, I think that's even, <laughs> I think that's what it even says on here. Let's see, comfort, 37, yeah, so... That's probably pretty accurate. I, like I said, I've gotten it down to about 20. I think I got it down to 17, but I did have a 55 degree sleeping bag that I slept inside of this one with. And I, <laughs> along with some thermals, um, much needed thermals. So, but anyways, that's actually <laughs> now the end of my, uh, my gear list. Uh, well, that, that I have shown, anyways. I, I also carry. Obviously, a shovel, a map, a little bit of extra batteries, depending on how far, how long I'm gonna be out. Otherwise, I just change them beforehand. Uh, and I usually carry some kind of knife. I I had a pocket knife. I don't know what happened to it, but I've been carrying like a a, a solid blade knife lately, and I like it because you can kind of split wood with it, whatever. But uh, it is a little bit heavier. Uh, I did bring, I do bring, I am going to bring this extra tarp. I don't know if I said that earlier, but it, it this will come in handy, especially if it's, if it's like raining all weekend and you don't, especially like, like during the day, like, yeah, all right, so you set up camp at like three in the afternoon and it's going to start raining. You don't want to like just climb in your tent. You can just set this up and then you and. If you're with somebody else, you can just sit under it. I, if you look at my primitive camping site uh, video, uh, you'll see me sitting under this thing. I, I love it. Um, and it's so much, I mean, it's like, I think this thing, weigh, it weighs like maybe six ounces or less, probably less than that uh, to carry. So, and it's not really that bulky. If it if I don't get ever like hang it, I, I like to just at least like, especially if it's muddy out, I can just lay it on the ground. And then put all my gear on it while I'm sitting in my tent or whatever. And it, 
Uh, that way, this is the only thing that's getting dirty, not all my gear. So I, there's, you can use this for multiple different things. Um, I definitely, I definitely do like it. Um, I also carry a Spot X. Don't know if I talked about this yet either, but I don't. I've used it uh, when I when I was guiding people earlier this month. Um, I let them use it because they thought they were going to have service, and it was nice for them to be able to. Oops. Uh, it was nice for them to be able to like reach out to somebody. I had a bunch of extra messages left, so I was like, yeah, just. Go ahead and burn through them. It doesn't matter. They're already paid for. So, um, But I, myself, I only use it when I'm going out by myself. And uh, I, li I like to, you know, shoot somebody back here, back home, my location and whatnot. So it is nice. It does have SOS button. That's um, I need to probably practice with. <laughs> uh, but you just snap that open, press it, and let it sit. Like, if you're in a heavy canopy... It doesn't matter what brand you get, they all are tough to find satellites. I mean, that's just the nature of the beast, right? I mean, nothing can see through trees, and these guys definitely need line of sight to connect to to satellites. So, if you're heavy hiking a heavy alpine, or even like down here in the south, where there's you're, I mean, it's just a thick canopy, the message will still get out, but it may not go out like you're used to on your cell phone. Like your cell phone takes second or milliseconds right to leave and get somewhere else this may take you know 20 minutes but you got to just sit it upright in a fairly open field or you know opening and, and then play with it out there but um out on the sipsy uh especially on top of a ridge line even in heavy canopy i've gotten messages out but like when i've been at the bottom of a valley or or canyon this is tough but like i said even it doesn't matter what comp what brand you use but like like even the garments that I, people say they struggle the same thing so it is what it is i also bring a stool it's like a, a pound pound and a half stool i think i'm gonna upgrade to a backpacker chair so i can actually have a, a seat like a lean back <laughs> um when i was guiding somebody had one and I made the mistake of sitting in it, and it was comfortable. And I also, uh, I bring a lot of, like, t twine or yarn, or twine. <laughs> twine or, like, par paracord, what do you want to call it? But so, stuff to hand. Here, I think I just got it right here. But cord. I bring cord to uh, to hang my water and to, oh, like, if, if I'm going to be out there for a week and I want to, like, <laughs> uh, once I set up camp and the sun's still out or something and I've done some laundry, you can hang across trees and let it, let it dry. So just, there's a lot of things that cord will help you with, so. All right, well, that's it. I'll see y'all on the trail.